Right now, police are looking for the gunman who burst through their back door just before noon yesterday. Police confirm the victims are a mother and a daughter. WJZ investigator Mike Halgren is live at city police headquarters with more details on this frightening case. Mike? Mary, police today call this a horrific crime. At this point, they can't say whether there's a link between these killings and a violent drug gang known for witness intimidation. You knew them. Yeah. Tell me about them. Well, they were nice people. That's how you cut a grass. Jerome shit. Hamilton was a friend and neighbor of Shanette Neal. Neal, along with her daughter, Justice Allen, was gunned down in her own home on Gorman Avenue in West Baltimore. The killer remains on the loose. Yeah, I was very in shock because I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe it. Police say whoever committed the brazen daytime killings knew who they were after. Uh, we have bad guys who targeted this house for a specific reason. And unfortunately, we have two victims as a result, um, a mother and a daughter, and we're just trying to figure out who's responsible for this. Police would not say whether the murders are linked to Antoine Benjamin. Court records show he used to live in the home and, according to reports, was related to the victims. He was set to go on trial next Monday for the murder of a federal informant. Is it related to this person or that person? The possibility exists, but we don't know that. Authorities say Benjamin was a member of a drug gang that operated in the area with ties to the Bloods and Black Gorilla family. They held a press conference last year to announce charges against its members. The MO for this organization is witness intimidation, expansion of their operation through murder. Police are now looking for any information that will bring whoever is behind the murders to justice. Our investigators are looking at all angles of this. Other relatives who were involved in illegal, illicit activities, um, that's part of it. Neighbors say Shanette Neal was very social. She liked to sit out on her stoop and talk to people. She was 43 years old. Her daughter, Justice, was 21. Live at City Police Headquarters, Mike Helgren, WJZ. Mike, thank you. Police maintained a visible presence today on the block where the murders happened.